What's up everyone, my name is Ben and today we'll be talking about five different problems with the OnePlus 6. Now, don't get me wrong, this video is not meant to criticize the phone. In my opinion, we should all think about the problems, uh, the downsides and the cons of a phone before we buy it because we need to make sure that the price we're paying will basically allow us uh, or make sense to deal with those problems. Hopefully that makes sense and without a further ado, let's talk about five different downsides to the OnePlus 6. Now with the OnePlus 6, it's a really funny story. Most of the problems here aren't really problems, they are just different frustrations, um, confusions to, the, uh, to potential customers. And the first one is basically the water resistance feature. Yeah, this phone is uh, water resistant, just like most of the other flagships. Basically, if you spill some water on it or it rains, your phone will be okay. But listen to this. Most of the other phones usually have uh, an IP rating, which means IP68, IP69, IP67, whatever. Basically, that is a certification that your phone is in fact water and dust resistant. Now, listen to this. OnePlus 6 does not have an IP rating which makes me feel kind of, well, weird. The phone is supposed to be uh, water resistant, but it does not have an IP rating, which makes me feel kind of played by the company because, okay, let's say some water splashes on my phone and it stops working. I call up OnePlus and I say, okay, um, isn't this phone supposed to be waterproof, uh, water resistant? And they will say, no, this phone is not uh, water resistant. It doesn't have an IP rating. It just, it makes you feel a little bit weird, don't get me wrong. I just hate it when, uh, when companies don't make things clear. So this is one of the first gripes that I have with this phone. Number two, basically it's 2018. We all consume content on our phones. Uh, either that's YouTube, Instagram, whatever it is, we all want decent speakers. And here's another thing. The OnePlus 6 only has a single speaker, basically a mono speaker. It still does not have stereo speakers and I seriously don't understand that. The OnePlus 6 is supposed to battle all the top devices, the flagships, and it's supposed to be the flagship killer. And how can you try and kill flagships if you don't even put stereo speakers in the phone? I'm sure they don't cost a lot. I'm sure they are not hard to make or implement. Um, I, I just think they could do that. Also, the sound from the mono speaker is apparently not even that good. It's not even loud. There's no bass. The sound is a bit choppy. It doesn't sound that good. So please take that into consideration before you pull the trigger. If you guys have seen any of the battery life comparisons between different phones, I have seen one in fact just, I believe it was two days ago. Here's the third thing, the battery. OnePlus 6 has a 3300 milliamp hour battery and that sounds like quite a bit, but the phone does not have that good of a battery life. And believe me, there's nothing worse than having to use your phone while it's plugged in into the charger, because while well, this phone also doesn't have a wireless, a wireless charging, but we'll talk, uh, talk more about that later. Basically, the phone is not optimized that well, and what that means, well, it means that the battery will drain really quickly. Yeah, it may get, get you through the day, but it will drain really fast when you are, uh, if you're a heavy user. For example, a lot of social media, a lot of videos. Thankfully, we do have Dash Charge, which charges the phone from 0 to 100% in 30 minutes. So yeah, I will, uh, I will uh, give um, OnePlus some, some slack for that, but it's still, you could have optimized the, the battery um, so the phone uh, could last longer. I remember when I picked up my OnePlus 3, I believe it was about two years back, and the phone was absolutely amazing. But of course, most of the time you sacrifice the camera when you're buying these uh, low priced phones. And once again, you won't be getting the uh, flagship performance of camera. Don't get me wrong, the camera on the OnePlus 6 is really, really good. In fact, it's much, much better than the previous generations, but it's still not at the top. The sensor is quite good this year, but in low light, you still won't get the performance that you would like. Basically, the colors will be a bit washed out, uh, there will be a lot of grain, um, but in the daytime, the colors are really good, the photos are really good. Um, but once again, the nighttime is just a bit of a disappointment, uh, and the same goes for the front camera. The portrait mode is 
is quite good but once again if you'll be getting into some not so well lit situations um, the camera will perform uh, a bit under average and finally the last point and probably the most confusing out of all these points is the glass back now okay when we first saw that the oneplus 6 will have a glass back we were all like okay this phone will have the charging uh, the wireless charging feature on 100 percent well guess what the oneplus 6 still to this date does not support wireless charging that makes me think so why would you put glass on front and back of the phone making it really easy to uh, first off pick fingerprints but not only that it will also fracture really uh, really easily it will get damaged more easily it's it's a no-brainer okay so yeah you included a glass back but you did not include wireless charging i seriously don't understand that some people say it's because okay yeah they need to keep the uh, the cost down but believe me the wireless charging component does not cost more than let's say a dollar and that's a bit of a high price especially when you're buying wholesale so i i really don't uh, don't know why they did not include the wireless charging but maybe they will include it in the oneplus 60 which is i believe coming really soon so thank you guys so much for watching this video again this video is not meant to criticize the oneplus it's still one of my favorite phones uh, actually it is my favorite uh, phone for the price really good but of course you have to consider the downsides are they worth what they're what you're paying for the phone so thank you guys so much for watching i really hope you enjoyed the video if you have any thoughts about this video please leave them in the comments below and i'll see you all next time